Hello human, thank you for being on the channel. If you wish to join the Terrence family, punch the shit out of the subscribe button right now. Keenan and Kale, two best friends who live in Chicago, are always dragged down by Keenan's get rich quick schemes, while orange soda loving buddy Kale is dragged along but tends to mess things up. This show stars Kale Mitchell as Kale Kimball, Keenan Thompson as Keenan Rockmore, Vanessa Baden as Kyra Rockmore. Ken Four as Roger Rockmore, Teal Marchandi as Cheryl Rockmore, and Dan Frischman as Chris Potter. I used to watch this show all the time when I was a kid. It made me laugh every single time. Keenan and Kel are just too damn funny. And Keenan is the guy that's always trying to come up with shit to do in terms of making a lot of money, what they can do to get out of trouble if they get in trouble, which is usually... You know, Keenan's fault because he comes up with the plans, but at the same time, Kel has a habit of fucking the, <laughs> fucking up the plans that Keenan comes up with. And uh, Kel is always trying to be around Keenan, which is funny. I mean, they're best friends, so it's like you expect it, but it's like Kel just be popping up and shit at Keenan's house. And um, Keenan's parents, uh, Keenan's father, Roger, he really doesn't like Kel. Like, he can't stand that nigga. He's like, Kel. When are you going home? And the Kel's like, what, what you mean, Mr. Rockmore? We family. And Roger be like, hmm. It's like Roger just be thinking about ways to get rid of Kel and how he can maybe run him over with a truck one day or something. And But um, Cheryl, Keenan's mom, she's more welcoming of Kel, but she gets irritated of him too. And uh, Keenan's sister, Kyra, she really, really loves Kel. Like, she's obsessed with him. But, you know, Kel is pushing her away and stuff because, you know, it's just like, uh, you little girl, st stop messing with me. I'm, I'm too old for you. And Kyra just keeps latching on to Kel. Like when Kel is not around, Kyra just be like, uh, Keenan, when is Kel getting here? And he's like, I don't know. Go to your room or something. And she's like, mm hmm. Forget you. Just let me know when Kel is here. So I just thought that was funny. And uh, Chris Potter is. Uh, <laughs> that character is funny too because he's strange like you just like you don't know what's going on with chris potter a lot of the times and um chris potter is the uh the owner of this convenience store that keenan works at and uh so you know chris is keenan's boss and keenan for the most part he's a good worker but whenever kel comes inside of the convenience store keenan just stops working and Kel has a habit of drinking up all the fucking orange soda because he loves orange soda. He don't even be paying for that shit. He just be coming in there every day <laughs> drinking that shit. And then Keenan will let him sometimes. And then sometimes Keenan be like, Kel, you know you got to pay for that shit, right? He's like, yeah, that's a good point. And then he just opens it up and drinks like a whole bottle of that shit. And then another bottle, another bottle. And Chris be telling Kel, he's like, Kel, this orange soda is in this store, which means you have to pay for it. Kel be like, yeah, yeah, you right. I might do that one day. And Chris, Chris be like, okay, motherfucker. I don't want to hear nothing about nothing if I end up shooting you. Just want to throw that out there. Don't want to hear nothing about nothing. And um, look, check this out. There was a situation where fucking Keenan won the lottery. You know what I'm saying? He won the lottery, and Kel was in charge of watching the lottery ticket. And Kel accidentally lost the fucking lottery ticket so when it's time for keenan to go turn in his lottery ticket to win all that money you know get all that money and stuff right you know they over there at the uh place where you would uh i guess receive the payout and they over there dancing and shit like we gonna whip that bad boy out and we gonna whip that bad boy out and we gonna whip that bad boy out and kel knows that the ticket is is no longer with Keenan. Like Keenan has the wrong ticket because Kel dropped the the winning ticket in the batch of the other tickets, and he got it mixed up, and he just pulled out a random one. And of course, when Keenan realizes that that's not the right ticket, he looks at Kel like motherfucker, you had the ticket. What happened to it? And he's like, oh, I you know I might have I might have dropped it into the the batch with the other tickets. He's like. <laughs> you motherfucker like you know he just be getting mad at him and shit and man kel just has a way of really messing up the plans and it's just shit don't never be working out for keenan and kel 
Like, even while Keenan and Kale are in high school, you got Keenan trying to come up with all these plans. Like, yep, Kale, we're going to get this. We're going to get that. We're going to get this money and this and that. And then Kale just be shaking his head. Because usually when Keenan comes up with these fucking plans, it leads to both of them getting in trouble. And especially Kale. And he's just like, oh, nah, Keenan, that's not a good idea. We probably shouldn't do that. Then, he's, uh, you know, Keenan just puts his arm around Kale. And he's like, on the contrary, my friend. This will work out for us. And I'm just sitting there like, wait a minute. Didn't you come up with like 60 plans that all failed? Like Keenan, it seems like he's good coming up with plans, but the execution is off, which leads to him and Kel getting fucked over. And that's pretty much what you have in this show. Just Keenan and Kel getting getting in these different predicaments and shit. And um, I just love the way that Keenan and Kel, how they are on screen together. They have such good chemistry, which makes it funnier when Keenan gets mad at Kel and then Kel's like not understanding why Keenan is mad. And Kel is low key like super intelligent, even though he does a lot of goofy shit and a lot of the characters question his intelligence. Kel is actually smart as fuck. He might even be smarter than Keenan from what it seemed, but it's just that with the way that Kel behaves. You don't have a lot of individuals thinking that Kel is smart. They like think he's like slow and shit. So it's just funny how sometimes Kel reveals ideals and plans that you have characters like, wait a minute, Kel, did you come up with that? You're like, yeah, it's not a big deal. So I guess that's why you're not supposed to underestimate somebody regardless of what kind of behavior you see or what they do because you might be dealing with a genius low key. You never know. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly-ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm going to give this series an 8 out of 10. I think it's really good. Uh, it came on Nickelodeon back in the day, back when Nickelodeon was good. Today is trash. Um, but yeah, this show will always have a special place in my heart because I grew up watching this show. It's funny as fuck. And if that shit comes on, I feel like I can still watch it and get that same sort of joy. Because it just makes me smile. I love the chemistry between Keenan and Kel. And I think it's just one of those shows where it's like in its own little bubble. You know, the show is special. You know, especially if, you, uh, if you've if you seen it, you grew up watching it. Like, you just know what's up. Somebody say Keenan and Kel, you're not going to be like, oh, is it that show or this show? You know what Keenan and Kel is if you've seen it. Thank you for being here, human. I want you to like this video, share it with your family, your friends. Whatever humans you may know, punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. Terrence out.